Cross River State Governor Basi Otu has inaugurated a multi-stakeholder committee to draw up a development framework for the optimization of oil, palm, cocoa and coffee value chains in the state. Inaugurating the committee, Governor Otu pointed out that cocoa, coffee and oil palm are crops in which the state enjoys comparative advantage in the country. He stated that the model of having key stakeholders organized in a cooperative manner will further push the advantage the state enjoys. Expressing belief that agriculture is a hope of Cross River State, the governor says his administration has demonstrated commitment with 3.5 million oil palms already earmarked for planting in the fiscal year, just as the state has loaned the transparent and digitally, digitally managed 30 billion era commercial agriculture development fund called Project Grow. We are taking this option because of the belief that while the crops are different, your managerial and active experience from your respective backgrounds will complement each other for the greatest benefit of the state. We will also minimize the duplication of effort in certain areas of production, while at the same time avoiding the tendency of reaching out to the same technical partners for support as it is more likely under an alternative multiple committee structure, whose terms of reference are as follows. To develop a seven-year strategic plan that outlines strategies that enhances cocoa, coffee, and oil palm cultivation, productivity, and of course quality. The inauguration today will expand the scope of our mission. As is now common knowledge, however, governments alone do not drive business processes well. And so while as a government we are committed to providing all the necessary support in the agricultural sector, it must be private sector driven. The inauguration of this committee today is a practical demonstration of that belief. This action is a thing that would have been done about 40 years back and Cross River State will be found in the world map in this particular core crops because there's no development that can succeed without a plan. So putting together a committee to develop a strategic plan is having a roadmap that guides activities, is having a timeline that one can look back to, monitor, and evaluate progress and development. Thank you very much for coming to change the landscape, the story of Cross River State, especially relating to agriculture.